Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Jason Salyer and that's Alan Kay holding the camera. And today we've got to do a little bit of maintenance on some gear. A poncho, as everybody knows that's watched any of our videos, is one of our favorite pieces of kit. It's super, super versatile. Um, piece of rain gear and shelter all kind of in one. And I really like them and I always carry it. But we've got to do some repairs because if you get them near a fire, you're going to have this issue from time to time. See that hole there? I've got a few of those holes in this Helicon poncho and we're gonna patch those up right now. So what is this product here, Alan? This is some parachute slash poncho patching material that somebody gave me a long time ago. Looks like ripstop nylon. Yeah, it's, it's some kind of general patching thing. Okay pill and stick type but what I like to do is I'll round the corners a little bit so it's not not as likely to catch on something and peel you know mm -hmm. so kind of a pill and stick we make sure the surface is clean and then we're just going to come in there and put it on there kind of like that can you do both sides or just one you could do both uh, I just typically will do the outside mm -hmm. and I just get it against a hard surface and rub that on. Now what you can do is you can take some shoe goo and a small brush or a Q-tip and kind of seal that line where you put your patch on. I don't really feel like you need to do that, but I mean, if you, if you, do, you could just do the whole repair with shoe goo. You see, I've got some hanging here. I got a, I got a tube that sits here on the video on the sponsored by. <laughs> Well, yeah, that stuff, I mean, <laughs> it works on a lot. Yeah. So, you know, you went from having a hole to now you don't have a hole. Got no hole. And it's a good flat color. A lot of these materials and things, if you're actually using them, they have a service life. And, uh, you know, I think you probably need more than one poncho because some, that's something that gets holes in it. it. It gets worn out. It starts to leak. So, uh Things that, you know, are a wear item, like socks, boots, ponchos. It's not enough to just have one, because they are essential things. So you probably need two or three of those for each individual that you're responsible for keeping healthy and alive. And if you're living under a poncho, I mean, your life's already horrible. So I like to, at regular intervals, inspect my equipment and um, repair it when needed. A little glimpse into Alan Case world. <laughs> flower hat. We haven't had the flower hat on in a while. Yeah. Let me bring that back. Yep. Yeah, no telling what you might find in here. It's all pretty random. And I don't know if trimming the corners matters. I just try to remove every weakness and variable that I can. It's a philosophy, it's the way I live. The more work you do in the head, the less work you have to do with your back. Just thinking. Sound, that's a good t-shirt right there. Yeah, we need some t-shirt ideas, don't we? Mm-hmm. Of course they come in OD green. That's the only color. Only. I don't know why they <laughs> as even... you can, As you can see. You, have you noticed a pattern? <laughs> It's only got one color on it. That's it. The I don't, jolly wake, up, green I don't wake up in the morning and go, I wonder what I'm going to wear today. It's going to be this. It's going to be day, green. All day. <laughs> if, you see in a, if you see me in a suit, somebody died. Yeah. Yeah. You're just getting ready for your own death. Yeah. <laughs> just getting dressed no, up to I'm, save everybody some time. They're not going to put me in, in no <laughs> suit, man. <laughs> You're going to be looking like that. Yeah. That's right. They just, uh, I'm going to be cremated. Yeah. I always said I want to be cremated and then shot out of a like, potato gun. Yeah. And then all my buddies shoot me with shotguns like as i fly through the air you know and then poof dust pull yeah that's what yeah. i want i think that's gonna be fine yeah
Yeah. Guys, if you're going to use your poncho as a shelter, I'm a big believer in putting little tie-out spots like this. This is um, just some bank line. You could use paracord or whatever, but the bank line is just a little smaller, and it works. It just makes it easy for staking it to the ground, um, tying it out uh, up on a ridge line or something. Just, just leave them on there. They don't get in the way. Now, I've, I've patched my ponchos in the past with just a small little square of duct tape. A Gorilla tape works pretty good, and it lasts a while. I've got it on a few of my ponchos right now, but it does catch on things, and it's a little bit comes, it gets a little sticky and frayed on the ends. And this is just going to be a better, more, more permanent option, I think. But in the field, there ain't nothing wrong with a little, little patch of duct tape. Any port in the storm. Mm -hmm. Alcon Tex ponchos are really good. I like them. The one spot that they'll leak on you if you're setting them up like a shelter is where the little drawstring, the waist drawstring, sets up. I got a little bit of drippage going on there, but maybe we can remedy that with this next solution. We should do so. is strip the threads out of it mm -hmm. and put a patch over it. That would be the best thing to do. We could just put a patch over it. Or just put a patch over it. We don't it. even need to. You know what we should do? Just put a patch Let's over just it. Put a patch on. <laughs> That's what John Wayne did. <laughs> what you doing, Cleonitis? You have one of the most eclectic workbenches. Well, it's I, a I know of. it's a very fluid situation in here. <laughs> from one day to the next what we what we might be dealing with you just never know you don't know <laughs> <What's> that? <laughs> the chandelier <laughs> got here yeah it says here don't inhale this so always wear a mask what is the product people are going to ask we can show it here in a sec here it's uh it's orange brand i always buy it because of the orange cap that's how i find it but a lot of the other stuff that you buy it tells you to wait and put a second coat this one says on there one shot so that's better than two so if you did two of this you would have a superior lasting product and i like to go hard on the neckline because if, if you get a leak up high, it just runs down low. So I like to go ahead and... Uh, I like to go hard on the neckline. That's another t-shirt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> People wouldn't even know how to approach that. <laughs> uh, what did they... What? All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Leave us a comment. And we'll see you on the next one.